You guys want to see me destroy this pumpkin? Hi guys, today I will be carving a pumpkin. This is the second pumpkin in my life that I ever carved. The first one was back in 2012 and let me tell you, I sucked at it. I have many, many ideas for this, but not really the tools and not a lot of time. So this is actually going to be submitted for a contest at my job so I'm not really gonna try to win I just want to have fun the opportunity was there to get a pumpkin and mess with it so why not it also gives me material to make a video because I never thought I would be doing this and filming it but I am happy to be doing so yeah um, I will pretty much dive right into it I'm going to just come up with stuff, apply it to the pumpkin, and then we'll see how it turns out. Like I said, I'm not trying to win. I have no technique. All I want to do is stab something. So here is my victim. And the first thing we got to do is we got to get rid of that. And the way we'll go about that is it looks so much worse. <laughs> I think that's fair. On the first round of me carving a pumpkin, I did your classic black head kind of face. For this one, I really would love to throw in here the face of an owl. I can't say that I can draw that on command, let alone on a pumpkin, but I'm gonna try. I'm not finding the knife that I had on mind to use, but anyway, I'm gonna use this one. It looks pretty fair. So first I'm going to start with the head and I'm going to do a kind of like a star pattern. I had to pick the shittiest marker ever. <laughs> this is the worst marker ever. Anyway, it looks kind of like that. Pretty subtle. So if you don't see it, that's the idea. I'm committing murder. I really wish I had that smaller knife that I'm talking about. Just who thought about this? Who thought, hmm, you see this MF orange squash? I'm gonna stab it and just draw things on it. And just take my time as I do it. Really take my time as I do it. And make this a complete hazard for youngsters and adults all over the world very easily you can stab yourself. The self-inflicted wounds will just increase. See, what I remember about this is that as I carved my very first pumpkin, I was thinking about how where I thought that I was tracing and carving and just stabbing this mug, it always went in the direction that I did not mean to. Say, if you miss your spot where you need to slice something and you try to make up for it, you end up totally, totally carving a spot that you didn't even mean to. I just experienced that a couple of times and it's annoying, but like I said, I am not claiming to be the best at this. I am not really trying to impress anybody. I'm just trying to have fun. I have not eaten anything, so at some point I will interrupt this program. My body is boss, so I will address that. Well, it's time to find out just how much of a good job I did at this. And the answer already is very poorly. They make it look so easy. Hi! Hmm. See, that's an example of a spot that I was saying that I thought I was cutting in one direction to correct it, but of course I, I wasn't. <sighs> oh, this, this side is even worse. Look at that. See guys, I just don't know what I'm doing. I'm just asking to stab myself and get effed up. I knew that was gonna happen, so whatever. There's a living being crawling in here. Blech. Mm. How do I open this? I just... Cause see, I'm afraid that if I keep doing this, it's just gonna... go to the side. And my knife is gonna break. 
Something's going to happen. And either way, it's going to be bad for me. You know what? I'm just going to bust open a spot where my real carving design is going to go. And then I'm going to try to like put something inside and then... Because this is going to take a while. And I just don't have the grip or strength or just the hands for that. Not interested. If this does not define deformity, I don't know what does. I told you guys, one thing is to draw on paper and another thing is to try to draw on this. This is how it was going to look like, marker or no marker. So we'll just roll with it. The worst part about this is that since I'm carving this stuff, of course, a knife won't necessarily trace that perfectly, but whatever, we're gonna roll with it. The amount of stress relief that I am experiencing right now is really, really unprecedented. Bit on. I'm sort of lifting it up. Oh, 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 oh. You got the zip. If you pull this out, you're gonna get you some ice cream. Oh, oh, wait, oh. I can feel the top of it snapping, but whatever. How about this? What if I cut this? Yeah. Yeah. Yes! Oh, I'm such a smart girl. Okay, so with that opening, it should be easier to penetrate the rest and gut it out. Remove the load out of its insides. Whatever I don't use from this pumpkin, I just want to bury it because, you know, I hate to throw away food. I think I'm going to save the seeds. I don't, I really don't think about cooking them, but I was asking someone, why are they green? But why when you get them out of the pumpkin, they are white. So my guess was that roasting them makes them green but then the other person's guess was that the maturity like ripening is what does that i'm like i don't know i don't care about seeds i was just wondering because i question everything i'm thinking about how i could be using two knives but i really want to just hone my skills with just one hand so no i'm not being stupid i'm just being I'm just accepting the challenge. I am not in a hurry. I have nowhere to go. I'm not married. I don't have kids. I can take my time with this mug. So, although I'm supposed to remove the guts, I'm shoving them back in. <laughs> this is what it looks like, what it's looking like so far. I'm gonna try to open the door to the room. This is a terrible idea because the knife can totally poke through. Oh no guys, why is this so hard? I found this thing. Let's see if it's any good. Actually, this is going to be useful for the next step that I have in mind. I'm gonna put it aside. I cannot wait to got you! This is fun actually. <laughs> that distinctive pumpkin smell. This thing makes it so much easier for me to penetrate the skin and reveal its insides. So this is what it's looking like. And I still can't get that effing lid to open. So... <sighs> hmm. I don't know what to do. Ooh! Yeah! That wasn't hard. We're waiting for this part. It's cold. 
and sticky and moist. Man, if I can touch this, I should be able to touch anything now, especially raw things, because this is way slimier than salmon or raw meat. It just is. But yeah, guys, that's what it's like. It's like, it's like a lot of webs. If spiders built homes inside of pumpkins, all of that webbing, it's totally they're doing. And then that distinctive pumpkin smell. Ugh. Hmm. You know what? I think I think I'm gonna do something with those loose pumpkin seeds. I'm gonna try to glue them somewhere. Yeah. I'm so glad mom is not here to see this. Now I know how cats feel like. Because I am really sharpening my claws here. You know, you know, this didn't take me as long as I thought it would for some reason. Yeah, I thought I was really gonna struggle. What what was toughest was getting that lid up, but, but yeah, the rest was pretty much a breeze. Let's see. This is so relaxing. Alright guys, I believe that I am done with the gutting. This is how it ended up looking like pretty satisfied with it it's gonna have a few more particles inside because I still gotta do some of the uh, you know rest of the design that I got going on this reminds me of the salmon let's see So my idea is to kind of put stars in the background, but I don't know how well that's gonna turn out. I guess I'll find out. Hmm. Seems fair. I'll come back to this. Okay. Why is this stuff? Okay. Why is this so difficult? Aha! Tee hee. Alright, guys. Here it is. I'm pretty much done. I um, really can't think of anything else that I can do to it. That little line right there, that was my mistake. But yeah, so I have a little piece of moon with some stars and then a fall leaf, I guess an oak leaf. And then I try to create a little vine with like a leaf and curling up right there but it didn't turn out too well and then more stars in the night sky and yeah um it turned out much better than i thought it would i'm not gonna lie um i thought that this was going to be beyond terrible but hey let's go on a trip who has seen from the perspective of the inside of a pumpkin eh Huh? Hopefully the footage was decent decent because now I have a bunch of just sticky stuff on my phone. But anyways, yeah, I'm pretty pleased with it. Thanks so much for tuning in guys. Like I said, I had no idea what this was going to really turn out to be. And let alone I didn't think that it would actually turn out this well. So yeah, I had a lot of fun doing this. It is the evening time, but don't worry. I have not been messing with this pumpkin all that time. It took me about an hour to do the original carving and then this other stuff that I'm showing you. It took about 
15-ish more minutes. So, you know, when it comes to time, I'm pleased. I thought that this would take me like five hours, but no. It was uh, pretty straightforward. And then that piece I, by mistake, cut it out, but it doesn't matter. It kind of looks like it could be part of the design. But anyways, guys, like always, thanks so much for tuning in, and I will see you soon. Happy Halloween. Early. Mm-hmm. <laughs>